Okay, so we've written our email, we've inlined a CSS, and now we're actually ready to test it against some actual email clients. So of course we want to test against email clients to make sure the email actually works and we send it. So testing costs money um, because there are a lot of different email clients that you probably want to test against. If you uh, have done web development and you thought the web browser world was fragmented, the email world is much more fragmented. We have a huge variance in the technological capabilities of different email clients and we have uh, people distributed over all kinds of different email clients. Um, we have uh, mail on iOS devices, so like Apple Mail on an iPhone is one of the most fully featured email clients that are out there, very popular. Almost equally popular is Outlook, one of the least feature complete uh, email clients out there. It supports very little CSS properties. So you have this, this huge dichotomy of like super powerful stuff and really, really weak stuff, and both of them have huge market share. And then you have a whole bunch of other ones, right? We have Gmail, it's a big player, it supports CSS. Uh, and uh, lots and lots of other clients to kind of think about and worry about. So screenshot services, they give you wide coverage relatively quickly to be able to test uh, your email across email clients. Um, we're big fans of Litmus. We're not paid to promote them. We just use the service and we like it. We've heard other people say they like email on Acid. They're both screenshot services. So what that means is these companies have all the different email clients running on machines and you send them an email and you say, I want this email to be tested on these clients. They take the email, they open it up on all the email clients, they take screenshots, and they post them on a web page, and you can see them. The whole process takes somewhere from like three to five minutes to get all the screenshots that you want. Uh, and you get a page that looks something like this. So it's a great way to visually be able to validate that your email looks good or looks the way that you want it to on all of these different um, these email clients. They have desktop clients, mobile clients. Uh, Litmus probably supports uh, dozens, if not hundreds, of email clients that you want to do that for. So um, you can pick which email clients you want, and they'll show them. Testing on real devices is, is always better than testing with the screenshot service. Uh, however, of course, it just takes so much more time to have them all set up. Our testing philosophy is we try to hit the main categories. So we test on a Windows machine a Mac, an iPhone, an Android, and a tablet, and then we use screenshot services to hit all the individual email clients themselves. So the reason we do like testing on a couple uh, physical machines is like on Windows, maybe the fonts are a little funkier, they're different, or Windows machines generally have um, just poorer monitors. So you'll see stuff, it's this lower contrast, we'll, we'll really see that. Um, we wanna see something on a Mac, what does it look like when it has it or a nice monitor? Uh, an iPhone and an Android, show you what it's going to look like on two of the more popular platforms. Being able to actually see the email on the physical device, like a phone, you can have a better sense of, is the sizing right? Um, phones are generally hold, held closer to your face than a, a laptop, so sometimes things that need to be you know, insanely bigger to look correct, so um, being able to judge kind of those proportions and just kind of how does it feel. And also being able to tap on links on an iPhone or an Android uh, can be pretty huge, right? So hardware tests, they can catch certain things that screenshot services can't, uh, like I was just mentioning tapping. In the first version of Inc, we actually shipped it with buttons that couldn't be clicked in Outlook 2010, right? We had done a ton of iteration on the screenshot service to validate that it was all looking proper, but we hadn't actually validated it as clickable, and we had put in a, a, a hack, and it did not work as we thought it was going to. If you're not aware, Windows has released some pretty nice VMs. If you're trying to track down older versions of Windows, like you do want to do a hardware test on something like, uh, I don't know, like Windows XP, uh, there is a link, modern.ie. So if you have a Windows machine and uh, you can load the VMs using the, the Windows VM software that's on there, you can go and you can download some of these free versions of older versions of Windows. So rather than having to go and track down an XP license on eBay, they'll give you kind of a bare bones version of XP that you can download. I think there's some restrictions, like you're supposed to uh, reset themselves every 90 days. You can't use them, um, but still, they're, they're definitely worth it and a lot of you than having to manage your own versions.